Well, I'm here at Picasso Peak State Park, northwest of Tucson, Arizona. Getting ready to hike and climb up to the summit of Picasso Peak up there. And then potentially this other high point up here too. Well, the trail's been climbing pretty steeply so far through a series of switchbacks. And there, there are some uh, handrails that they've added already. This is pretty neat here under the overhang. Well, I made it up here to the saddle. So I think the trail goes down a little bit, it looks like, over here. And then climbs up somewhere back there. Well, I didn't expect that. I just descended down from there. So this thing really must wrap around. Well, it looks like I'll be heading up to there and up somewhere. So here's another trail junction, in the Sunset Trailhead. Is that way it's back, I think, somewhere different from where I parked. To the peak. That's where I hope to be pretty soon. All right, here we go. A little bit more climbing now. Pretty enclosed. I'm gonna try to just keep the camera out for a little while anyway. Just use one hand. Okay, really not much of a climb here. It's gonna feel a lot safer, obviously, with the railing, but I'm gonna try to avoid using that. Yeah, made it to the summit. This is looking approximately north. And then this way is looking towards the Phoenix area. It's just pretty hazy, smoggy right now. Yeah, cool views from up here. Definitely not the highest peak in the area, but a pretty neat vantage point. Kind of cool with I-10 down there. And then looking down at I-10. All right, just getting a look at some of the other ranges here. I believe that's the Sierra Estrella range over there, northwest of here, and that would be southwest of Phoenix. More defined summit way out in the distance is Babo Quivari Peak, which is a tactical climb up to the summit. And then the highest point out here is Mount Wrightson, south of Tucson. And then we have Mount Lemon here, looking pretty much east, I guess, from here. Pretty nice views from up here, definitely, even with the early morning haze and the glare. Still really nice. It's supposed to be about 105 today. I think that's what the forecast said. It's definitely good to get this done early. I didn't use the railing. I don't know if they chiseled out the rock at all just to make it a little bit more doable, but I have no idea. There is maybe another potential route up to that other saddle, just right there by that saguaro. I'm not gonna check it out at all, but I mean, that's maybe doable as well. Or actually, Maybe even right up through here would almost be more enclosed and easier. So, I don't know. That looks almost better right there. But anyway, that's the, that's the route they picked right here. I think I would actually take it right here, but maybe beyond there it's a little worse. I mean, yeah, this is maybe third or fourth class climbing. But if the railing wasn't there, there are actually a lot more potential foot and hand holds, which it probably would make it easier or just as easy as using the railing. So, I don't know. I mean, you're kind of confined to such a narrow area with the railing, but there are more places on the sides to be able to put your feet and hands and make it a little bit easier. So, I don't know, maybe third class, we'll say. But not too difficult for sure. Yeah, maybe this ledge was here naturally. Um, it's hard to tell. It may have been, or they just kind of, you know, knocked the layer of rock out 
just to give people a place to step. So I don't know, I have no idea what they did, but yeah, I guess this would be more, this could almost right there anyway, especially if the ledge wasn't here. It definitely would be fifth class climbing right there, I think. It's hard to tell, I mean, it's all subjective, but. Um, but yeah, I didn't even kind of really realize this on the way up. I didn't really look down at all, but you are pretty much right on a cliff here. And this does, I mean, it's worn out from people stepping here, but it looks like it could have also been maybe chiseled out a bit to give some foot and hand holds. I think it was. So yeah, I mean, this would be, you know, pretty, a tougher, definitely a lot tougher peak. A lot less accessible without all the trail improvements here. Well, I just left the saddle, got back down to the saddle or up to the saddle because you have to climb back up. And I'm heading up to the high point up here. Well, this is a pretty well-defined section of the ridge right here, but definitely enough room to walk. And I'll just get over there, climb up, and then keep walking up. Well, I was talking to those people on the saddle for a little bit. I just told them I was going up to the ridge. So they're making their way around the backside. So that's what happens. The trail crests up here from this direction. Crests here and then you drop down, I don't know. I don't know, 200 feet in elevation maybe. It goes down pretty far. And then you start working your way around the backside and then back up. So you're behind all that up to that saddle right there and then up to the summit which is occupied right now there's a few people up there i'll hang out for a few more minutes and then i'm gonna get back down to the trail and get back down there's pretty much a used trail all the way up here and then you're on solid rock for a little while on the ridge but it's a well-defined trail up to this point too it's another nice side peak a lot of nice looking cacti up here too. Or a bunch coming up the ridge. So here's looking down off the ridge. There's the parking lot down there. I was the only one who parked in the other lot. So here's that well-defined section of the ridge again. Looking back up to Picasso Peak. saddle and then the Picasso Peak Summit a little further back from there. That was a pretty fun climb, definitely pretty neat and good to get some climbing in too, not just hiking. Well I wanted to do that high point there but time wise I better get back, see how my wife and son are doing. So I'm going to sign off from Picasso Peak State Park just off of I-10, northwest of Tucson. Really enjoyable climb and hike. Definitely a great place to check out.